find yourself on all fours, moving into your tabletop, warming up the spine with a few cat-cows. Inhale, belly drops, look up. Exhale, round through the upper back. Gaze comes between the knees or maybe the navel. Inhale, arch the back, look up, open through the throat. Exhale, round through the upper back, drop the gaze, push the mat away. Good, and then we'll find ourselves in our gate pose. So extending that right leg long to the side, plant your hands onto the earth in front of you. Slip the right hand underneath towards the left side of the mat and placing your right cheek and shoulder onto the earth. Coming into a bit of a twist. Then lifting back up, find your way into your tabletop, sweep that right leg long behind you, place it to the left side of the mat and gaze back at those toes stretching through the right hand side of the body. Good, take an inhale, right foot comes to the outside of the right hand and then drop the hips here. You're welcome to curl the back toes under and pick up the back knee to open up a little deeper into the hips. You can even look up. You're welcome to sway side to side, getting a little deeper into those hips. Lower the back knee, step back into your tabletop now and extend the left leg long beside you, moving into that gate pose twist as you slip the left hand underneath the resting onto that left shoulder and side of the face. And then again, inhale back to your tabletop, extend the left leg long behind you, and then place it on the mat on the right side as you gaze back, stretching out the left side of the body. And then take an inhale, left foot comes to the left hand on the outside as you drop the hips, coming into this low gecko pose. You can lift up the back knee, again, bouncing the hips or swaying them side to side keeping the chest lifted high and then lower the back knee step back into your tabletop curl the toes under if they're not already and push the hips up and back finding your way into your downward facing dog you're welcome to take a bend into the knees here and then go ahead and lower the knees down curling the toes under fitting the hips upon the heels and then hands can come heart center as you lean back. If this is a little too intense, you're welcome to sort of shift forward and back. If you need more, start to lean all the way back. Eagle arms here opening up the back of the shoulders. Extend the arms long in front of you and then slip the left arm underneath and take a bend into the elbows. If this is not accessible for you, you're welcome to take a bear hug. Take an inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, let them lower back in front of the chest and then switch sides, extending the arms long, right elbow underneath this time, inhale, lift, exhale, lower back down to center. One more time, lift and lower and then unwind the arms, planting the hands back on the earth. Go ahead and curl the toes under and push back into your downward facing dog. Extend the right leg long behind you, and then exhale, step the right foot again on the outside of the right hand. Left hand's gonna stay planted, moving into a simple twist. Right arm reaches up. Take a bit of a back bend here as you gaze up. And then right hand will come back to the earth. Step back to your downward facing dog. Left leg reaches up. And then again, left foot steps to the outside of the left hand. Keep the right hand planted this time as you lift the left arm up into the simple twist. Bring both hands back to the earth and then pivot to the right side of the mat, moving into this wide-legged forward fold, toes in, heels slightly out. If the head is close to the earth, I want you to heel till the feet in a little bit, bringing the hands to the ankles, and deepening your forward fold here. Let's take a little sway side to side, rocking the shoulders from left to right, keeping a bend into both elbows, drawing your chest through the gateway that your legs have created here, and then go ahead and release the hands back to the earth, heel toe the feet in, about hip distance apart. Take the arms, wrap them around the body. I want the hands to come to the shoulders so the elbows are crossed. We're in this ragdoll forward fold here. 
So head gets heavy and you're gently swaying side to side. You can take a big bend into the knees and then release your forward fold here. Heel toe the feet to the edges of the mat, toes out, heels in and lower down into this yogi squat here. Hands can come heart center. Let's go ahead and take a bit of a twist here. Right hand plants, left arm is gonna reach up, the gaze can follow and then go ahead and switch sides left arm down reach that right arm up gaze can follow hands back to the top of the mat step back into your downward facing dog and then glide forward plank lower down elbows in tight all the way to the earth belly touches the mat and then moving into your sphinx pose elbows underneath the shoulders arms parallel with each other and if you want a little more here widen the hands and then start to lift the elbows so the arms are straight you're moving into seal pose you're welcome to walk the hands back even drop the head back opening up through the front body and the throat welcome to take a big bend to the knees knees can be mat width apart drawing the head towards the toes and then we'll push back into a wide knee child's pose. So knees wide, toes tap, forehead rests onto the earth with the palms stretch forward. Let's take another twist here. So right arm is gonna reach underneath, left hand can stay at the top of the mat or you're welcome to wrap it around the base of the spine or even search for what's in that right front pocket. And then we'll unwind, we'll find that twist on the other side, coming onto the left shoulder and left side face. Right arm can stay forward or again, reaching back for the low body. And then unwind yourself back to center. And that's it for your morning full body stretch. If you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.